What's up, Sagittarius? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaRellsMoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Yes, honey, yes, we must sage for the Sagittarian gods. All right, Sagittarius, 16th through the 31st of October. Let's see what's going down. We're going to find out what's going on with you off top, your money situations, okay, and what you need to look for. Also, your partner, okay, what's going on between you and your romance, baby, and uh, what's up and coming, okay, possible outcomes. So here we go. Sagittarius, baby, ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need, okay? So ask, tell motherfuckers what you need. Shout it out to the bouncy tops, okay? A wish could be coming true if you do. Ask for what you need, Sagittarius. Look how he's blowing out the um. Look how he's blowing out the flower. So yeah, definitely could be a wish of some sort once you do speak up about something. Okay, and also your daughter, this answer to your question involves your daughter, Sagittarius. Some of y'all could be changing your diet as well. But if you have a child, it could be a major influence for some of you guys, okay? So, ask for what you want. Could be a message through your daughter. Let's see what's going on with you. Here we go. Okay. So we got some cards already. We have a dedicated effort and go with the flow. So you could be putting in a lot of effort into something that you haven't quite seen the fruits of the labor, but I feel like if you just go with the flow, everything's going to be all right. Okay. So you could just be taking things with ease. Not doing too much um, that could have you, you know, feeling overwhelmed. So, dedicate your efforts into something. And just go with the flow, alright? So, first card off top is the Empress Energy, Ace of Swords. I feel you guys are just going with the flow. Going with the flow of things could be uh, nature. Okay, something that you're nurturing with this Empress Energy. Some of you guys definitely could be coming into abundance, okay, with that Empress. She is the abundance card, okay, but she's also the love card as well. So I definitely feel like your love life and communication and just going with the flow is uh, going to be at ease at this time, okay? So let's see what's going on with your money. Sagittarius, Queen of Wands, this is you, baby. So you definitely could be holding on to your coin, okay? You could be needing to get some sort of passion, um, or you're waiting on your ships to come in with this Queen of Wands, somebody to do it for you, okay? But I feel like you're holding on to your coin. There could be, um, you know, just some reasons, some financial circumstances for things later on down the line that you need to hold on to your money for. King of Pentacles. Okay, and also two of pentacles. So there could be two different things you're outweighing in your money circumstances. Could be a job. Okay, it could be the time that you're putting into it. I'm also seeing with the four of pentacles, you're holding on to a lot. Okay, you're doing all the work. Some of y'all could be letting go of a third party situation, or there could be some struggles with multiple parties, but definitely a third party struggle here. Or you could be just thinking about commitments and offers clients okay five of wands three of pentacles are definitely uh indication to me that someone is wanting to um take leadership or there could be a leader here within uh your job 
Okay, you can own your own business, but I'm feeling like you're taking leadership on these contracts with multiple people. And you're, you know, kind of giving them the sword too. So you could be, um, you know, very, very cut off-ish, okay? But with that butterfly, I feel like you're still delicate all at the same time. So you're knowing how to use your bedside manner. Also, um, you know, knowing how to cater to people is definitely what I'm seeing here. But getting the job done, okay? within your financial matters. So um, there could be a situation where you need to get out and about, all right? But there's too many people, too many things going on in your finances that could be hindering you from, uh, you know, put, pressing forward, okay? But um, for some of you guys, you could be receiving an offer, okay, a letter or some news with this page of pentacles. Could be some good news. A good offer of some news, okay? So let's see what's going on in your romance department. Here we go. Romance angels for the rest of October. Sagittarius, here we go. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. So some of y'all need to get out there and flirt, okay? You could have just been sitting behind your desk, sitting behind whatever, not doing nothing, okay? Some of uh, you all could be dealing with someone who needs to extend their light heart so they'll know. Um, you know, there's ways of showing love, different love languages, okay? And there's playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, Sagittarius. So some of y'all need some, some real um, juice, okay? The real juice, not the kind, not the fake kind. The real juice, playfulness, okay? Kissing, touching, embracing, all right? Also, romantic feelings. Yeah, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So some of y'all could be just, you know, getting out there, flirting on dating websites, apps, things of that nature. But if you do have romantic feelings, it's definitely real. So let's see what's going on between you and your partner. Between you and your partner, Sagittarius. Here we go. Six of Cups, oh, Two of Cups, oh. So definitely some love here, okay? Um, I feel like there's a lot of memories, a lot of lighthearted things. You could be dealing with children, but definitely a lot of love surrounding this situation. Um, it could be with the Cups, you know, it's a lot of emotions put into this. It could be somebody that you've had, you know, a childhood with or that you've grown up with, but I'm definitely seeing a lot of flirting and playfulness. Now, somebody could be having some work frustrations, work work frustrations and work issues, uh, possibly. Okay, between you and your partner, they could be struggling in their work or holding on to their money or money management. Queen of Pentacles, also uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, and Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This could be in their Sun, Moon, or Rising. We got the Three of Cups and also the Seven of Swords. Be aware of this person um, being deceptive about some family situation or um, something that you already know about. They, you know, are still trying and trying. Okay, Three of Cups could be an invite out or some sort of plan that just comes out of nowhere. All right. Could be dealing with a Leo with the strength energy here. So definitely a lot of um, insecurities due to some things in the past or some sort of uh, ex or a person that they were dealing with that you've seen something that you didn't like. Uh, but I feel like um, between you and this person is definitely a lot of heated energy here. Okay, could be could have started over with them. Yeah, with a fortune, death energy together. So I feel um, some of you all just feel like you have the right to, you know, just kind of call this person out on their shit. Also could be somebody who's um, one of you two is definitely in some sort of disagreement or you don't like the placement that they're in. OK, or you could have been feeling like you were having to put up a fight with multiple people. But this person wants to come out of the cold after this. Um, after this red flag, possibly. 
could be that there was something that was alarming you or something that you were waking up to. Okay. Yeah, definitely some sort of um, something that you knew was above all was going to happen. Okay. Um, there was some sort of somebody feels stuck. But at the same time, they're wanting to leave away. They're wanting to go away. You could be feeling this or picking this up in their energy. Okay, four of swords. So this could be you. But someone is definitely feeling like they, they've missed out on an opportunity or they've taken too long here. Okay, it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They definitely feel like there was something that wasn't going fast enough. So let's see your partner's intentions. I feel like somebody's been called out on that shit. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Cups. I feel like this person is moving very slow. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, King of Cups in reverse. They're feeling kind of upset. They're moving. They're trotting very slow. They could be kind of stubborn. All right. It could be because of stability. Ten of Pentacles. I feel like there is some sort of money situation that's going on. This person could be using you for money or there could be money involved in the situation. Definitely a lot of principal energy here. Okay. In their intentions, they could be watching you with this page of swords. They could be watching your money as well too, but be aware of, you know, this person's motives. Okay. Cause they could have some greedy motives. Yeah. Especially with, uh, the seven of cups. And the Six of Swords here. The Nine of Swords, I'm sorry. King of Swords. So someone's intentions, is they definitely have some sort of entrapment. They feel like they could be having some nightmares or there could be some anxiety. Um, something being found out here. Someone being too greedy. Definitely something being found out. Okay, or someone keeping some things to themselves, but also, you know, still kind of involved elsewhere. All right. I feel like they want to build with you, but at the same time, they're having some issues, some security issues, emotional issues first. They could be um, definitely not feeling um, like they're stable or there's a situation that wants them to, to feel whole. Okay. Could be having some family issues here as well, but in their intentions, I feel like they want some sort of independence and they want their way too. So somebody who wants to get their way with you, but they're also not telling you everything. Okay. Nine of cups is someone who's getting their way of wish fulfillment. Also nine of pentacles is somebody who's coming into completion. It also could be, um, and their intentions that they're wanting to break free, they're wanting their independence, but they're also wanting this, you know, being served to, catered to, being fed, okay? Somebody's slaving over making food and shit. Definitely in their intentions, be aware of this person's motives, okay? But I feel like there's a lot of light energy that's coming out of this. Um, so try to take the light, is what the cards are saying. Um, and that, you know, the romantic feelings that you have are absolutely real, but just be aware of this other person's motives. Okay. And how they come off towards you. Um, definitely someone that you feel is not all the way telling you the truth. Okay. Could be possible. Can in here. So let's see what's going on. Um, in the next couple of weeks, cause that might reveal the truth. Okay. So here we go. Next couple of weeks and the first week, I feel like money is definitely the motive here. Could be dealing with a, um, a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, but this nine of pentacles came out again. So I'm feeling like you guys are breaking free in your independence, but you're also wanting a new beginning. It could be some money abundance up in this bitch. Uh, definitely some sort of communication as well, or you could be feeling like there's a double edged sword. But I feel this is all of these cards surrounding this is very good. Okay. Your temperament as well. You're gaining a peace of mind. 
some of you all could be having mixed emotions, but I feel um, there's going to be some communication on that. Okay, what do we have? So, second week, somebody might have a lot of things in the air that they're needing to take care of. could be just practical matters, okay? But I feel you're kind of guarded towards this buildup or towards something that could be coming in and out or someone that could be coming in and out towards you with the Knight of Cut or the Knight of Swords, okay? But with this Three of Pentacles, I feel like there's a major, major buildup. Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands, could be a third-party situation or someone is getting ready to build up to that, okay? Ready to see their ships come in. So, let's see what's going on in the third week. Ten of Cups, okay. Three of Swords in reverse, Queen of Pentacles. So, you're starting to see the light at the end of the motherfucking rainbow, okay? There could have been some healing, um, also just taking care of a lot of practical matters could be dealing with businessman, businesswoman with this queen of pentacles, but I feel there's a lot of things that you're kind of awaiting and you just aren't really ready or sure if this is the 10 of cups that you've been waiting for ex or expecting. Okay. So definitely in the third week coming into November, there could be a lot of hidden things that you feel emotionally. You're not really seeing, or someone's being a mystery. You could be dealing with a Pisces. But a lot of hidden things that someone's not really talking about, okay? Um, and this could be unveiling, you know, certain things that your passion or being passionate towards this person is kind of hard to understand, okay? Um, not knowing if they're wanting this end-all be-all or if they're wanting, you know, to save up, make that change in their destiny. So this could be you, Sagittarius, who's definitely making an ending to some things here, okay? So possible outcomes, page of swords, ten of swords, a lot of tens here. So a lot of you guys could be just closing out old cycles, but someone is watching you. It could be on social media, but there's definitely a lot of spying, surveillance going on, okay? It could be some information or some news that you might receive. You know, don't take it to surface value, but I do feel uh, there could be somebody who's not telling you too much of the real information or the real truth. You got the five of swords, the ten of swords. So whoever this is together, I don't like that shit, all right? somebody If this is your person, cool, let it be them. But if it's you and there's an ending and you're really thinking about all the things that have transpired, um, you know, try to take your mind off of those worries. Okay, I don't let this person worry you to death. But I do feel there's going to be a renewal. Definitely a lot of love happening, okay? Um, it could just be that you need to take some time to rest or someone feels defeated and they need to, you know, rest. It could be that win-lose situation, especially with that judgment energy, someone who's having to think outside of the box. Okay, possible outcomes. I do feel like messages are coming in. This could be for someone that's waiting or awaiting something here. You have the seven of pentacles, okay, and also the eight of wands. So definitely could be some communication or connection that's kind of at a distance, but someone is wanting to communicate with you, okay? It could be a, a distance, um, you know, in traveling and land. Could be a student here as well, but there's um, a lot of pentacles and a lot of communication coming in. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be some good news or a new relationship or just a new way of thinking. Especially with that flirtation card, okay? So somebody could be flirting with you. There could be some new flirts, some new um, and flirt inserts, okay? <laughs> but definitely a new beginning here or just really lighthearted energy coming in with communication, okay? All right, guys, I love you. I will see you in the next video. Be aware of that person of how they're treating you, okay? I will see you guys in the next video. If you need to get a personal read, hit that description box too. All right, peace.